In an ever-evolving business world, organizations need to adapt their practices to adjust to shifting consumer needs. The global consumer market has become more sophisticated, and along with the advancement in product and service offerings comes progression of sales strategy. We're going to take a look at how the sales strategy has changed within the MPS market and examine the sales strategy of a global leader. Currently, sales researchers and practitioners suggest an uprising B2B selling approach called inside selling, developed from solution selling because of the emergence of more sophisticated procurement teams that companies have nowadays. These teams exactly define a firm's requirements and evaluate their options by themselves, thus hinder sales reps to come into and shape the buying process at an early stage. As a result, the traditional solution selling ends up being a sole price competition which clearly has to be avoided from a seller's perspective. Inside selling, therefore, aims to help firms uncovering needs they were not yet aware of, which enables sellers to lead buyers to that point where they truly believe that they are in heavy need of this only solution which the seller provides. In our video, we are going to analyze whether and how this new selling approach is applicable for the office supply industry. We have chosen to examine how the changing business environment has influenced Xerox, a leading force in the office supply industry, in his sales strategy. With 60% or more of the buyer's journey having happened before a buyer ever speaks with a salesperson, missing to adapt selling strategies to the new environment can lead to misapplied sales resources or missed business opportunities. That can hinder meeting performance targets and may result in a loss of market share. Global research and market intelligence firm IDC stated in their buyer's experience study that the buying cycle for large enterprise technologies is almost a month longer now than it was three years ago. Pain and Company suggests that for leading companies that have started to overhaul their sales models, the upside is equally dramatic, setting them up to once again grow revenues faster than expenses. It's especially valuable for companies operating in the current low growth economies of many developed countries such as Xerox does. By, by contrast, companies that do little to rethink their model will be saddled with larger cumbersome sales organizations that not only erodes margins but worse, misses the biggest opportunities with high value customers. Yeah, uh, what ha what's happened that the customers come to the sales rep and ask for what they think they need and then they start seeking for the best price with the best solution for the best price. And this means that the seller must move the customers backward in the de their decision and then and they need to challenge the customers and the client and, and start asking questions to bring out the real needs of the customers that they do have. And important here to challenge the customer is to use uh, of a structure interviewing technique such as uh, OPIC or SPIN or something like that. So like overview questions, problem questions, impact and criteria questions. So in doing so, the seller can obtain a very different need that uh, that they, they then can differentiate themselves with their product or with their product services and not only focus on price discussion with the customer. So they need to push them backwards in their decision. The sales structure of the technology industry is currently in a transitional phase. Organizations used to primarily compete in a market where price and product aspects were valued as the most important driver for sales. The market is evolving and the product focus is shifting more towards inside selling and the sales experience. Sales are structured in a way so that customer needs are determined and then addressed in the development of a solution. Consumers have become more educated and value a product with capabilities that are individualistic to their specific needs. The trend of a product of customizability has enabled businesses to design a product that is idealistic for their business approach, allowing them to increase product capabilities and cut costs on unnecessary product features. B2B sales are also becoming more expensive. Organizations are now focusing on selling a more comprehensive strategy and selling the product as part of a complete package. There's an increased emphasis surrounding the non-tangible aspects of the product, such as technical support and servicing, product compatibility, and payment plans. 
Consumer needs have become more sophisticated. With the market shifting from generalist to specialist, customers expect providers to solve business problems and measure the value of these products based on outcome. Customers have also become more open and experienced with product offerings in the bidding process, resulting in a decreasing level of loyalty for a single organization. Last year, Deloitte presented a report about future selling, with a conclusion that selling is shifting more towards inside selling rather than just selling a solution. Also indicative of a more sophisticated customer market, the sales representative is forced to enter the sales cycle later than before, decreasing the opportunity to find the customer's special needs and to differentiate against competitors. And the companies are forced to adopt a new selling approach in order to maintain uh, competitive. In IDC's buyer experience study, they refer to a third wave of technology as the culmination of big data, mobile, social and cloud solutions, which brings solutions closer to the end user than ever before. In the office supplies industry, companies have tried to change their approach to the customers through MPS, managed print services, that customize solutions around the customer's environment and their special needs. It provides a service that optimizes the company's document output and meets certain objectives. The organizational objectives could be cost efficiency, productivity, or to decrease the load of IT support. Gartner, a third-party market research firm, provides technology research every year. In last year's report, Gartner looked at the MPS market and determined that the largest MPS provider was Xerox. And by Yeah, that's a good question. So, uh, Xerox has worked successfully with a clear structure in the sales process. And this has led to a customized offering that is in the forefront. Xerox also offers both products and services that it's really relatively easily to adapt to the customers later on. And within the technology industry, we have always been very innovative and unlike other more conservative industries as well. So you need to challenge your customers because more and more businesses are feeling that they are, uh, the customers are focused on price and you need to push them backwards. Uh, and I tried to do to work within these many different uh, industries um, and found out that everyone have used uh, have use of these type of structured sales process and structured uh, question technique. In our video, we have shown the importance of adjusting and developing sales strategy as exemplified through the successful implementation that solidified Xerox as a market leader. Von Walden also points out that this new selling approach is a way for all companies, regardless in what industry, to become more profitable. We suggest that in the future research should examine this approach in other industries. In sales, what are the challenges associated with a shortened sales process? It's difficult for organizations to gather information on who advertises their brand. They must look for vendors with a focus on working as partners and ta challenge and question what the client's real needs are. From gathering this insight, organizations are able to create value for their customers by developing a solution that's customized on their organizational needs and values rather than just solving a problem. Is insight selling ideal for every selling situation? There are certain advantages behind insight selling. The salesperson develops a comprehensive understanding of the organizational problems and values, and it's able to formulate an optional solution to deal with each. In terms of prospecting, insight selling is the most effective method to determine customer values. In some industries, insight selling is unnecessary to sell a product and proves to be cost and time inefficient. What complicates the buying process within the office supply industry? According to IDC's buyer experience study, the buying cycle was 4.5 months in 2009 and has steadily increased to an average of 5.4 months within four years. About 40% of the companies surveyed said they would prefer their buying cycle to be three months. So why does it take so long? For 60.8% of the companies, the internal buying process complexity hampers efforts while 35.6% blamed poor marketing and sales efforts by vendors. This video about future selling is touching right on the spot of one of the biggest challenges that we face in the market today. 
As one of Zerg's biggest partners in Scandinavia, it's crucial that we always work hard to meet our customers' needs to be able to stay on top. The solution selling segment in Xerox, MPS, is the highest growing on the market with over 10% each year. Therefore, it's crucial for us to try to adapt and to relocate more resources to this segment in order to gain more market share and to leverage from Xerox's surprisingly strong position within this segment.